Sarah, what's going on? Hi, John. How are you? Hello. We get to finally share what Circles is all about, huh? I'm so excited about Circles. Besides from us <laughs> both wearing cool black shirts. Yes, yes. The men and women in black. <laughs> <laughs> and the dancing. Well, you know, I couldn't think of a better human being and person to be co-creating this community than you. Uh, and I'm so, I'm so grateful for people to know that, you know, you're just one of my dearest friends and someone who has seen me and my heart for, from the second we met. So I wanted to thank you for, for that. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be working with you again. Um, I know it's, it, it's the first session was magic and I just look forward to creating more magic. <laughs> I like that more magic and we saw some magic, you know, we could talk about a lot of things, but I just wanted to start with just one of the things we're first very intentional about because we had heard from a lot of leaders. They wanted smaller group discussion. They wanted to be with people from other industries and backgrounds and types of work. So, you know, starting having a musician sitting across from a physician in healthcare and to see how, the musician and recording artist sparked this this love of singing that the physicians had since he was really four years old he shared with us but how that had him then singing with her later while she then performed for us and then that brought out this thing he's been thinking about where he might want to have a new pay model in healthcare where some people could pay with community service hours versus just dollars and it just blew all of us away, the innovation he's thinking about. And then that has another leader say, well, I want to support and help that. So to think the power of what we've said around connecting across, creating with, and having the courage to act, to see the kind of change that could be to transform healthcare and, and the humanity of where people's value is, is not in the dollars that you have, but in who you are and the gifts right. in who you are. So I'm curious, like, what else did you see while we were there for the two days? Right. Yeah. That, that, what you were just referring to was amazing. Um, what else I saw was, um, you know, people coming together after, you know, this crazy two years with COVID, just really wanting to connect with other people. Um, and so we were able to do that, really just t connecting with each other's humanity. Um, what I also saw was people thinking boldly, creatively, and courageously. Uh, I think for me, that's one of, um, one of the, the, the best outcomes out of circles is people are finding a renewed sense of purpose. I mean, you talked about the, the physician, the physician going back to, to what he loved when he was four or five years old. I mean, that's one of the things we're asking people to, to look at. What was it that used to give you joy? What gave you a sense of purpose? Mm -hmm. Remember when you didn't have all the pressures of your job or, or, you know, just life in general, what gave you joy and what gave you a sense of purpose? And people are able to go back and think and say, how can I tap back into that same feeling of being fearless in um, how I see myself in this world and the change that I can make? Um, and so just seeing people get out of that box and shake loose some of the baggage was just, it was magic, you know, just shaking mm. off. <laughs> shaking loose. Yeah. Maybe some dancing. No, no, no one wants to see that. I, I know. I know. I got to, I was born with an save extra. It, save, it, save it for the participants, John. <laughs> yeah. Keep it in the forties, right? As they say on Hitch. <laughs> no, but literally it is part of that. I love what you said, Tara. Like, Hey, shake it loose, like open up and, and we've said this is not about like the quote, the word develop, this is unlocking and that it's unlocking things that are already there that can get covered up. And it's our belief that when that happens, we can connect at a level where I see you, I see who you are. I might not, I'm definitely not the same as you. I have different life experiences, um, different background, but still I can see your humanity and that's why, you know, we've talked about the philosophy of Ubuntu that's grounded in what we do of I'm only a person through other persons and that I, we might act differently if I saw if someone else is being silenced or oppressed, that I, I would act as if, well, that's, that human is a part of my journey. So I need to act faster and quicker for them 
um, because right. they are me and vice versa or and same with joy and fun, right? That we can have more fun right. we can make change together, you know, having the way we have our catalyst exchange model where we've got a variety of, of, of levels people can pay to come to this, but two people coming at no out of pocket cost, the vendors, how we've got this multi-ethnic, multi-gender, multi-discipline group of people uh, with very deliberately a priority towards businesses owned by people who have been historically marginalized. That is what gets me fired up. When you look at our baseline page and you see the businesses we're working with and that people that come to circles are a force for change as soon as they sign up. And, and what people felt, those vendors, right? You saw it. <laughs> right. No, it was amazing. I mean, I just love the intentionality that went into identifying and selecting those vendors. I mean, they were phenomenal businesses that, you know, most of the participants would not have uh, have otherwise heard of. We had amazing women entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs of color, and other small businesses whose um, whose business models align with with the spirit of circles. And I just I love that we're able to support them um, because they're doing amazing things in our community as well. And so it was great to bring them in into this community. Mm. And the fact they were catalytic. Kind of like- the, the contractual nature, right? They were catalysts for us. They were sharing right. their stories. They were, you know, having a latte artist and a, you know, a, amazing workout uh, guru and, and trainer, and then a right. private chef and a violinist and rapper to, right. you know, right. the journals we bought, the pens, I, I mean, the, the t-shirts, the, the food and right. coffee. And, I think when you bring all that richness of contribution and creativity, it just, it does something in the human. So what, what are you most excited about as, as we build this and that we've got, you know, March and April and May cohorts and people come together for the two days. It's, it's in my house. And then we have some follow-up sessions after, but what are, what are you excited about as, as we continue to grow together? Right. Right. I'm, I'm really excited that people get to walk away with this renewed sense of purpose. Um, it may, you know, they may have tapped into something that uh, was always there, you know, even as a four or five years old, a five year old, but they remember that and they're able to put it back into practice in their lives. I'm, I'm so I'm excited about that, but also excited about this new community of support that each person walks away with. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it just, um, it builds this community of, of being catalysts. It's not just, um, you know, these 12 people, they then branch it out to people in their families, in their workplaces, uh, and in the community at large. And so um, I'm just really excited about that and, and very happy um, and honored to be a part of it. Mm, mm. Well, I'm so honored that you are a part of it, that we're building this and that with each people that, that enters into this, right? Is that right. we want it to feel real and organic and you know we're constantly making shifts in, in how we do it. But the most important thing is that we create space and we create that for each other. We hear each other, we see each other, and then we act as if we are each other in terms of our common humanity. And uh, I'm so excited. So for those of you listening and seeing you made it this far in our age of <laughs> attention, Thank you for seeing us and thank you for seeing what's possible when we do come together this way. Uh, Stay involved and you can sign up for our newsletter, check out a a really amazing event we got next week and inquire with us having a conversation about what the Circles experience is like and hope you'll join us. Thank you.